Ray and I just got back from picking up our laptop. That old steam powered laptop uh, gave up the ghost about three weeks ago, and we've been without a laptop ever since. You know, we usually make uh, anywhere between one and three videos a week, and without the laptop, we didn't make any for three weeks. So, this video, I'm going to show you what we did to kill time while we waited for the laptop to get back. Rhea and her friend Maris had the first adventure uh, after the laptop went to the shop. They went to the mall. The mall finally opened up. Got some stringent rules, but they're open for business. After the long lockdown, me and my friend Maris planned to go in the mall. Both of us were shocked the way they let in the people inside the mall. But lucky us, we didn't get in the line. We went straight and show our vaccine paper to the security guard. It just took about um, 5 to 7 minutes to get inside. It was pretty crowded in the first floor until we reached the second, third, and fourth. One thing I've noticed, some of the stores were gone forever. Sayo. Sayo. Sayo, sayo, sayo. While Rayo was at the mall, she stumbled on something that was kind of exciting. Underwear for me that fit. Big size underwear. But we weren't sure if they fit or not, and I knew that I was going to wind up having to make a trip to the mall. If you're a big guy in Vietnam, it's really hard to find clothes that will fit. But since I lost so much weight, uh, I'm starting to get at the uh, top end of the Vietnam sizes. So I'm kind of lucky that I can find a few things now that fit, like t-shirts and, uh, thank goodness, underwear. While well, we're in the blues, I spotted some men's underwear. And it's big size. It will fit with JR for sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy some samples so he can try it on. This upstairs is empty. <laughs> we had fun in the mall after a long lockdown it was really great to get out we are headed home Done for the night. Today, Ray and I are delivering a package for a friend. I'm excited to go around. <laughs> that lives up in Cameron, and where the delivery service is really abysmal. And uh, so the package is going to get hand carried by a friend. 
Uh, District 10 is about six kilometers uh, from our house and we're going by bike. Duke's business of selling espresso machines and running a coffee shop was so interesting that we're going to try to make a trip over there and do an interview about his business. The computer holds uh, about uh, 18, 18 to uh, 20 gram each shot. Yeah. Gram coffee bean. And this uh, machine on automatic. Oh, really? Yes. Ah, okay. Our friend Yu visited us and she brought her kitty, a sweet little guy. He enjoyed laying in the kitchen chair. And when he left, he took it home with him. Hello, uh, I'm Yu. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I have a kitten uh, named Op Op. You're so orange dad. Yes, you are. You're an orange dad. Mm -hmm. Him uh, sleep, uh, so him very, very sleepy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Well, look out, Hunter Biden. Ray is getting into art. Would you pay $450,000 for one of these? Well, maybe not. Probably the thing that we did most while, uh, while the laptop was away was play with Jelly Bone. He's a character. That little guy, so much fun, and uh, we just have a great time messing with that cat. Jelly Bone will play with you just about as long as you want to. He really is a playful cat. He enjoys playing and he enjoys sleeping and he takes both pretty seriously. Hey, we checked on the new condo and it's got a street now. I don't know when they poured it. Kind of a stealth mission, I guess but they got it done and it looks really good. Chi Toy, the biggest restaurant on our street, is open today. It must have just opened because I was by here a few days ago and it was still closed. 
it looks really nice. Not many people in there. Uh, used, used to be a pretty good crowd, but uh, not now. People just aren't getting out like they used to. When Ray and I went back to the mall to pick up the rest of the underwear that I wanted, uh, we got rained out, had to pull into King Koi Coffee. The electricity was off and it was dark inside. You couldn't hardly see the fish. They all uh, went down to the bottom of the ponds and uh, you couldn't find them. You had to really watch for them. We didn't wait for the lights to come on. We just waited for the rain to stop, and then we headed over to the mall. When we got to the mall, we just went in and made our purchase and stopped at the food terrace for a bite to eat. Then we headed home. <laughs> it really wasn't a mall trip. It was just to pick up those items that we needed. Well, here's the haul that Rhea and Maris got for me while they were at the mall. They bought a sample, a couple of pair. Uh, I tried them and then, then we went back and uh, picked up eight more pair. So now I've got 10 brand new underwears. Up City, our favorite restaurant in the area, was finally able to open because the city allowed them to sell beer. They've been pretty much closed during the whole lockdown. I can't even remember how many months it's been since we've been in Op City. Marius, our friend, works there, so we decided to go over and see her and have a couple of those beers. It was a great evening, and it was great to see Op City back in business. We're gonna get back to work making videos for everybody. We'll be able to use it until the new parts come in, and hopefully it won't take them too long to turn it around. So this is JR from the Tech Pat Saigon. Yeah. Saying thank y'all for watching.